Welcome back to JTMJ Crafts, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going today? We're getting into some coloring books that I like to color in. But first, let's shout out those Patreons and let's get into these books. <laughs> Okay, so as you see, I have brought you down into the business. Are you guys ready to see my books? Okay, these I'm going to set off to the side. And I'm going to set these off to the side. And I'm going to bring this back. So, this one was a gift to me from Bev B. Diamond Paints. But, I already had it. So... I'm going to keep the one she sent me, and I'm going to give the one I had to a friend of mine who colors. I don't color in my coloring books. I take photocopies of the pages in my coloring books. That way I can color them multiple times. So, let's set that one off to the side. I'm just going to do a quick flip through because people ask me all the time, where do I get my coloring pages of my Indian women? So... I'm going to show you, plus some other books that I do have, but I don't really color in very much. So, this one is by Rachel Mitz. She's an awesome uh, <clears throat> artist. So, let's see. First page is this. Now, some of these, I, I am not... I am not too fond of. Like, this just looks kind of childish to me. There is some really good pages in it, though. See, like this, it just, to me, it just comes off childish. I do like to color them, but I'll show you the goods. I like this one. This one's really cool. I, I probably wouldn't even color the hair. I would just color the face and the feathers and leave the hair jet black. Like this, I don't even know what to color on that. It's the side of a face. But, like this. I love this. This is gorgeous. I would love, love coloring this. This is absolutely beautiful. And then, I like this one. Um, it's kind of got its, its, its dark side to it, like I do. Um, and it's got a crow. Who don't like crows? This one is absolutely gorgeous. It's one of my favorites to color. And then you have something like this that I'm just like, okay, whatever. Really like this one. This one's kind of just creepy looking to me. It comes off on that weird dark side. This one's very beautiful. That's be it's pretty. It's booty. It's pretty. It's booty. I was going to say something. Why is this in here again? I don't know. Probably because... This one, I love. It's one of my favorite pages to color. This one, eh, it's okay. This one's pretty. I like this one. I like this one. That one's so-so. That one's so-so. A lot of fine detail. And with alcohol markers, I can't really get that fine detail. So something like this it has such small detail in the feathers, I would use my uh, gel pens. Um, this is okay. I would color that. This one just kind of comes off weird. It looks like she's got the world for eyeballs. I don't know. It just, just reminded me of something weird. This one's cool. I like this one. Now we're getting to some of my favorites to color. Kerr. Just, um, I get I see where I'm pointing the camera. Her, her, and her are some of my favorites. And then this just gets into some of the other coloring books that she has. Oh, turtles! So, that's that. This has got a lot of good pages in it. Um, so, set that aside. My second favorite coloring book is... 
this one. I'm going to raise you guys up so it doesn't look like you guys are so close. So, this one. Native American Coloring Book. Native Coloring. Oh, book for adult. Um, this one has some kind of corny pages in it. But, I do like them. I love this wolf. It's just absolutely awesome. See, that reminds me of something a little kid would color. That's okay. I like the fox. I'd have to use small detailed markers. Small detailed markers. I like the eye. I do like the sun and star because, you know, I'm just that kind of a person. Um, I think this is rad as hell. That would be a sick tattoo. And I love this. And I love the scene eye. And this, like, look at that small detail. I, I don't even know where to begin with that stuff. She is beautiful. I think this is in the other page, except for she's facing that way. And this one, she's facing that way. Sorry, my allergies are going crazy. Like a mandala. Eagle. See, and there she is again. She was in the other book, too. But what's weird, she... Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. She's on the cover of this book. But she's not in this book. It's really weird. It's really strange. And it's like this... Picture. It's false advertising. I don't think it's in this book, if I remember correctly. I was pissed when I bought this book originally because it didn't have that painting or that picture in here. If I recall, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. I like the dream catchers. Dream catchers. Cool looking heart thing. That's cool. More dream catcher. More dream catcher. More dream catcher. A lion dream catcher. If you guys don't know, I'm a Leo. Um. Another, I paint, colored this the other day. Dreamcatcher, Eagle. Water Buffalo, which is really weird. So a Water Buffalo here. And then that's it. So, this page isn't even in this coloring book. I was so ticked off when I bought this coloring book because I was like, look at this picture. This has got to be in this book. Nope, it's not. I believe it's in this book. This painting is in this book. I don't understand. I was so ticked off. But this is my third favorite coloring book. I think this is actually one of the coloring books that has a lot more of the pages in it that I like. Like, boom. See? Like, why would you advertise this here... But not in here. I, I don't get that. One of my favorite, 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 favorite color pages. I had hair in my mouth. Damn hair. See, and then this, this page is here again, which was in the other book. Weird. The Bermuda Triangle. That's pretty. Different, but pretty. Oh my god, I want to color this so bad, but look at that small detail. I'm so afraid. I'm going to have it jacked up. Jacked up. That's exactly why I take the pages, I stick them in my photocopier, and I photocopy them. And if I jack it up, I ain't too worried about it, because I can do it again. Another one of my favorites, this one's got mountains behind her. I absolutely love this. This would be a badass tattoo. Like, right here on my hand. That would be sick. And then, she's back in this as a full page. Like, I don't understand the advertisement. Okay, this is really cool. I think I've colored this once. I, try I started to color that the other night. And then I realized I didn't have good 
paper to color on, so I switched to a different page. That's cool. I like the horse. That page is in here again. That's cool. The skull's kind of funky looking, though. Lion's kind of cheesy looking. I like this page. I don't like coloring full pages like that, but I like that page. I like this page. Uh, free spirit. Always gotta have a free spirit. And that's it. So, between these three books, they are my all-time favorite coloring books. I don't understand why each book has a little bit of difference in, in between the books. I don't, I don't have a clue. Okay, so next is this guy, Native American Artwork and Designs. It's a cool coloring book. It's got a lot of small detail in it, and I'm not a fan of small detail as much as I am as big detail. Although, one of these days, I'm going to color this page. It's just, it's going to take me a while because there's so much detail in it. I'm just going to kind of flip through these pretty quick. That's beautiful. I would color that all day long. Cow Scow. Some Buffalo. I would totally color this. I just don't like coloring like big huge spreads on paper. I like to stick to a little bit smaller of an area when I'm coloring. It just makes it look nicer. This book, it doesn't have a lot of, like, faces in it that I like to color. But it does have some pretty cool, I like this one. He's, like, resurrecting the, the fire. I believe he, he's, he's a shaman. Which, I'm related to shaman. I have shaman in my family. In my, uh... In my family. It sounds stupid. Uh, let's see. Better way to explain that. My great grandfather was a shaman. My grandfather was a shaman. And my mom almost became a shaman, but we moved away from the, the tribe area. And that's it. Just shows a couple extra freebie pages. I want to color this because that's cool. And this is where I get my fish. Or one of my fish I color. And that. Okay, so last but not least is Jade Summers Tattoo Coloring Book Volume 2. I don't have Volume 1. It's got some pretty cool pages in it. I've colored quite a bit out of this. I've colored that. I've colored the first page. I, don't, I haven't colored that. I've colored that. I've colored that. I believe I colored that. I colored that. Haven't that one. I want to color this, but I don't like coloring big blocks like that. This is totally wicked. I would totally color this. With some Ohuhu markers. Gotta love my Ohuhus. I would, I think, I believe I colored this once. I love the birds because I'm a huge fan of birds, if you don't know me. Elephant. I would definitely do that for my mom. My mom was a huge elephant fan. I've colored this. I didn't really like this page very much. I am a Leo, but I just didn't really like it that much. Love the King Cobras. I, I want to color this one day, but... Once again, fine detail. This is cool. Fish is cool. That's cool. Eagle's cool. That's cool. Scorpion rose. I really didn't understand this because this is like a tiger with like water and like lily pad or uh, not lily um. Yeah, I can't think of the name of it. But if you look here, this looks like water, like, splashing up around it. Like bamboo, I think is what it's called. That one's cool. The Kraken. 
and then back to that again because this book has double the pages for double the fun. Okay, last book, which I was very disappointed in. It's not one of my favorite books. It's actually, I hate this book, to be honest with you. Because trying to make copies of this book, it sucks up all my ink because of the black pages. And they're, they're really stupid looking. They're just like really generic, really bland, like, like a little kid colored some of these. Not, I, I, I really like this because I like the bear. Tomahawk. That would be a badass tattoo. That would be a cool tattoo. I put that on my back, but my back's already covered. Yep, my back is covered. I don't think I have any room left back there. Um, this I, I don't. I'm not even a fan of this book. I'm not going to show anymore. Um, I got my back tattooed when I was. Let's see, I was 20, 21 or 22 when my mom passed away. I think I was 22 when my mom passed. And when I moved away, I got my back tattooed. So this is just some other coloring books that I have. I'm not going to go through and flip through all of them. I'm just going to kind of show them and maybe show a page in them. So you guys kind of have an idea of what they are. There's like... Highly, highly beautiful grayscale pages. Like, just absolutely beautiful pages. And from what I remember, this, this book, Tim Jeffs, he's, he's got a series of these books, and they're, like, worth money. I didn't know, not, like, a lot, like, like, they're valuable, but they're hard to come by, like, from what I've heard. Anyways... So there's that book. I have this book. Magnificent 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 Creatures, which is very small detail pages. Um My Color My World, which is some more very small detail pages. One of these days I will Start coloring some of these. I'm gonna put some of these books to the side. I don't want to show them yet. I believe Anxiety Art Adventures got me one or two of these books. I can't remember. Or I maybe I bought one and she bought one for me. I can't remember. But these are Color Quest animals. They're really cool. Color by number. You have little individual numbers that you color. And it creates a image. And then I have this one, Mystery Mosaics. Really small detail. Um, these books I bought when I first started coloring because I was like, oh, wildlife. And then I got them and they were just like, eh. Not really what I was expecting because they have a bunch of text in the bottom telling what each animal is. And it's like super deep detailed pages. And then this one because it had squirrel on it because I'm supposedly the squirrel king. And it's the same style book. Got very small detail. Book. Shoot you. Eat you. Eat your heart out. I got this one when I first started coloring as well because I figured, oh, I can color. And then I started looking at these pages and I was just like, uh, yeah, do I even know what the hell to color on this? Like, this, this intimidates me big time because I don't know what to color on them. But they're beautiful pages. Cheetah, my favorite animal. Chipmunk. Red Stag. Blacktail. Fox. Hummingbird. I love hummingbirds. They're so freaking cool. Um, I have an owl book because I was, like, I liked owls for a long time. Owls are freaking wicked cool. And then, last but not least, no, not last but not least, I have two more books to show. A horse coloring book. 
I've actually colored this page. It's not this same page, but I did color this page with watercolor. It turned out really cool. One of these nights, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to color one of these pages for the Giddy Up. And I really like this book. It's got some really cool horses in it. A good trotter. There's my horse right there. Clydesdale. Uh, but one of these nights, I'm going to color a page in this book. Really cool pages in this book. So there's that. And the last but not least is this these last two books. This book is called The Wild West Women Steampunk Edition. It's kind of a risque style book, if you, if you know what I'm saying. She's got some boobs. Sorry. Um, and there's, there's different characters. Get what I'm saying? They're kind of risque. I'm just going to flip through. Fanny, hey. I don't remember what page I colored. Hey, sexy cop. <laughs> I colored this page once. Oh, it's got a doggy. I didn't see the doggy. What's the doggy? Oh, it's a doggy and a kitty. It's a mad kitty. Okay, last coloring book. I believe it was color, Coloring with Anne or Crafting with Anne showed one of these books. And I was like, oh my god, I need this book in my life. This is a, a Western coloring book. I absolutely love the Westerns. This is my favorite Western show of all time. I can watch Gunsmoke, James Arness, like all freaking day long. It's like my jam. Some of these people I don't know. Jean Autry. That's Miss Kitty. Hey, Miss Kitty. He played in a, a lot of uh, John Wayne movies. Chuck Connors, The Rifleman. Uh, Gary Cooper. He's played in a lot of movies. Don't know who she is. Robert Duvall. Clint Eastwood. Jack Elm. Samuel Elliott. That boy's got a freaking voice on him. James Gardner. Hey, it's the Bonanza. What up, little Joe and Hoss? Sorry, I, I like the Bonanza. She's played in a couple of John Wayne movies. There's Shane. Hi, Shane. This was like one of my favorite movies for a long time. There's a little little boy. He's like at the end of the movie when Shane leaves because he killed somebody to uh, protect the family. And uh, the little boy's calling for him as he's riding away because he was ashamed for what he did. And uh, although he needed to do what he did because the person that was running the town that they bought all their supplies with, from was basically pushing them off the property they owned. So Shane stepped in and went and killed the guy. And the little boy, at the end, he kept calling for Shane. Shane! Shane! But we love you, Shane! It was it was a very sad ending. But Shane, we love you. Yeah. Roy Rogers and Dell Evans. Randall Scott. That man's played in some badass westerns. Oh, this is my favorite right here. James Stewart. Woody Stowed. What up, Woody Stowed? I want to color this page. Good God, that's freaking awesome looking. Lee Van Cleef. And the man himself, John freaking Wayne. And Richard Widmark. I can't remember the name of this movie. I just watched it the other day. And Maria Winston. And that's my coloring book collection. Okay. So, once again, my native coloring books. 
have this one, this one, this one, this one, and these two, and then these selections over here. So, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I would love to have you subscribe and ring the notification bell. So, as always, have peace, love, and respect for all. Bye, guys!